set up for those that are not here. Okay, so uh, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. This is the day you have made. We rejoice, we're glad in it. Minister to us today by Holy Spirit. Help us to have a good day today. And we just pray that you would uh, give us the mind of Christ tonight and uh, help us to get uh, focused on mission vision. And just listen to what your spirit has to say. Father, we thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Um, so we're going to talk about how we're, uh, the mission and the vision to change Wednesday night Bible study. And the mission and the vision is to move Wednesday night Bible study out of the church. Get out of the church. Everybody talks about get out in the community. What a perfect opportunity to get out of the church and get into your community by doing Bible studies, not here, but out there. Okay? So, mission vision. All right, and I will tell you that if you do some research statistically, churches that are implementing these kind of groups, they have a tendency to grow. And why? Why is that? Hey, Mary, Bible study at our church. And Mary says, eh. Mary, Bible study, I'm your next door neighbor. Come over for Bible study. Yeah. At our house. Yeah. I've taken church out of the equation in her mind, but I'm not, listen to me, I'm not having house Bible study. That's not what I want. Yeah. I want house church. Yes. Got it. Got See how that works? Mm -hmm. So you're taking this church into your house to be church. Not church, church, but church. Yeah. Everybody getting that? Yeah. Okay, so we're moving. Let's, we need to get out. We need to get out of the community, out of the building. We, what an opportunity. Yeah. Okay, all right. So what is the vision and mission? To build places where and number one, we're not going to assign you that you have to go to this house, okay? But what an opportunity to go and build fellowship and relationships in a house setting. Yes. Not a church, not a dinner, not a meal where you sit by two or three people and then you go, but a house that you get to fellowship and build relationships with. Okay? <clears throat> it is also an opportunity to, again, evangelize. Okay? People will come to houses and not churches. Yeah. Okay? You have family that won't come to this church, but they might come to your house. You have friends that may not come to this church, but they may come to your house. You have co-workers that you may not want to have come to this church. <laughs> but you may want them at your house. See how that's work? How that works? Everything's working together. Okay? So again, taking Bible study out of the building in the homes and houses accomplishes a lot of things. It accomplishes a lot, a lot let, me, let me rephrase that. Taking church out of the church and putting it into houses and homes accomplishes what we've been talking about for years. Okay? So, it will also provide opportunities for men and women, men and or women, okay, to step up into leadership roles. Mm -hmm. Well, again, 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 yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Okay? Because, listen, you're not going to be standing up in front of 
a chalkboard and you're not going to be standing up in front of the pulpit. You're going to be sitting and talking to people in a house. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you can't talk to people in a house. I know better than that. Let me say that again. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you can't talk to people in your house. I know better than that. Okay? So you may not see yourself as a person that is going to lead Bible study just because you can't stand in front of a crowd. You're not going to be standing. You're going to be sitting in, the, in a room in a house with people around. More relaxed environment. It is very informal, exactly. Very informal. And very informal settings provide us an opportunity to build fellowships and relationships. Yeah. Okay? Everybody with me so far? Yeah. Okay? So next Sunday night, everybody say next Sunday. Next Sunday. Okay? I need, I need some people starting to make some decisions. Okay? I need some people to start making some decisions right here. And I'm going to post this on the CRC family. Okay? But I need you to pray. I need you to get into depth prayer and really consider this. So there's two things that we need to have happen for this to become successful. Number one. Everybody ready? Yep. We need host houses or homes. Okay, now let's talk about those houses or homes. Doesn't have to be fancy schmancy. Just has to have a room where five to ten people can sit comfortably. Mm -hmm. You can have pets as long as they're not rabid. <laughs> as long as they don't bite. Okay. Um, and and we'll, we'll get into more discussions about that. Okay? Now, if you decide, well, I can host, but I don't want to teach. Guess what? That's okay. So what are we looking for? Okay? We're looking for houses and homes to put people in. <clears throat> All right? Five to ten people comfortably. It can be in your kitchen. It can be in your living room. It can be in a den. It can be in the man cave, whatever you've got. Okay? The she shed, whatever it is. Okay? And all you got to do is make sure that it's reasonably clean. That's it. Okay? The other thing... And we've, I've already discussed this with a couple. We got to have places that people can actually park. Okay, people can actually park. So if you have a one-car driveway on Main Street, probably not going to work. But if you have a location where people can park in the driveway and on the street, that's what we're looking for. We're not looking, now listen, here's the thing. We are not looking for houses and homes just in the city of Ottawa. Okay, amen. Okay. Gardner. Okay. Richmond. Princeton. Wellsville. Spread it out. Okay? And if you're going to host, be a host family, okay, it's also possible that we don't <coughs> use your house and home every Wednesday night. We can rotate houses and homes and say, all right, so this group, we're going to have this group here, this group here, this group here, this group here, this group here this week, and then next, and then maybe in a month. Now we're going to rotate houses, et cetera, et cetera. Everybody, have any questions, comments, concerns about hosting? Should we identify that if we have 
dogs or if we have cats in case somebody's allergic. Yes. Yeah. So so let's just let's just throw this out. Let's say let's say we have two houses. Okay, let's just say we start off with two houses. Okay, we have Stephen, Christy, and Jerry and Vicky. Okay? I could say, okay, so Stephen Christy's got pets. So if you have an allergy to that, you may not want to go to that. But Jerry and Vicky have outside pets, but they don't have indoors. Yeah, yeah, they've got a whole whole zoo of pets outside, but they don't have any inside. So you can make that decision. You're not locked in. That makes sense. Okay. Any other questions, comments, concerns on being a house home? Host. I know the question you should be asking. Judy. Uh, so providing like uh, hot tea. That's the question you should be asking right there. Okay. I so here's my vision. I think there should be snacks and drinks. I don't think opinion and, and again details, details, details. We're still working them out. But I don't think the house host should be responsible every single time. I think we can rotate that and say, Roxy, you're going to bring snacks, and Daryl, you're going to bring drinks. Okay? So if Judy's hosting, if Judy's house is hosting, say, Judy, make sure the house is good to go. We've got Roxy and Daryl doing snacks. Unless you want to. If you're hosting and you want to do snacks, that's fine. You don't have to. That's exactly right. And you can even tell us where we can eat. I don't want to cheat in there. What you need over here. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. I, obviously, we're going to respect. Yeah, respect them. Okay? House rules. Okay? Any other questions, comments, concerns about house hosting? Now, all right, so let's move to number two. Again, I need people praying. I need you to pray and say, okay, uh, I'm house host. I can do house host. Second is to be the group leader. Now, I will tell you right off the bat, that we're still struggling. And so if you have a good name for these, uh, be sure to tell me and we'll, 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 we'll name them, whatever. It's small groups, subgroups, church groups, life groups. There's all kinds of names for them. I don't care. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hoot and holler for one name or the other, okay? But we also need leaders. Now listen, here's the thing about group leaders, okay? You can be a host and a group leader. So if you say, I want to host and I also want to group lead, that's great. That takes care of that. If you want to host but say not group lead, or, I'll, and I'll just throw this out, Nash and Erica want to be group leaders. They can't host. There ain't nowhere to park at their house. There is nowhere to park. They have a driveway and that's it. There's no parking. Our house is difficult because we have parking on one side of the street and it gets kind of wonky, okay? So we can lead. We just probably prefer not to host besides our cocoa cat would lick you to death. And so, anyway. Okay, so we need two things. We need hosts, houses and homes, and we need group leaders. Now, what are the group leaders gonna do? So this is how we're moving and, and, and uh, evolving care teams. Okay, number one, what you're going to be doing as a group leader, you're going to be leading the group in the Bible discussion. Now listen, understand the difference here. Okay, I don't want group leaders to teach. I want you to lead. I want you to guide the discussion. Okay? So if we're in, let's say we're in uh, the, uh, uh, the Sermon on the Mount. Okay? We're going to 
read a scripture. Hey, Brian, what do you think about that? What's your thoughts? What do, what do you what do you think? And Brian says, I don't talk about Bible stuff. Okay, that's okay. Zach, what do you think? Okay, and guess what? In group discussion, okay, in group discussion, the leader is leading the group, guiding the group, but there's probably not going to be any really right or wrong answers unless there's a really wrong answer. Everybody get that? So what are we doing? We're really, 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 really doing Bible study. And we're really, really, really listening to what our brothers and sisters have to say about what they think about the Bible study subject and topic. Everybody hearing me this, this evening? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You see how many things this is creating and how many, how many steps and, and, and things that, that is happening? Okay. Yes, Roxane. Um, you might tell them. No, you go ahead and tell them. Well, <laughs> I, you're considering, we talked about this, still going from your ser sermon from the last Sunday. Yes. So that you will be given kind of an outline on what to discuss. It's not like you have to figure it out and do it yourself. Right. We're all going to be studying the same thing. So it's not like you have to do, you know, do it yourself. Dan will give, it, give him an outline. Yes. Correct? I don't know if I jumped ahead, but it's okay. That Sorry. would that would make me think, oh, okay. Right. So so let me let me say this. So the group leader isn't going to have to say, what am I teaching tonight? Right. No, you're going to know because I'm going to be giving you the group leaders the points of discussion, and most likely it will be about the sermon that was just preached last Sunday. Why is that? Anybody? Reiteration. It's still fresh in your mind from Sunday. Do I? It's still fresh in your mind from Sunday. Okay. Because believe it or not, Review. a lot of times I don't tell you everything that's in that text. And there may be important parts of that text that really need to come out, but I, God had to move me this way, and it got kind of lost in the shuffle. So this way, you'd say, I wanted to ask about that. There you go. You get to ask about that. What did, what did, what did he said? get off your fat, dead, lazy butt, spiritual butt? What did he mean by that? Good question. Okay. I'm just glad you considered me spiritual. You know the rest of it. He's discerning. Okay. And so we're providing opportunities for people to chime in and say, hey, I, got, I have a thought on that. What do you think? Okay? Judy. So are the group leaders going to be moving like from house to house to house, or are they going to be that uh, group leader for that particular house? Okay, so... The details of the exact housing locations and the exact leaders and leader locations has yet to be established and whether or not we are going to stick or rotate or flex, okay? So don't know yet, okay? We're gonna have discussions about that and kind of get that settled in. We could have one set location uh, here, one set location, or one set location, one leader here, here, here. We could rotate, not really uh, exactly decided on that. I'm still researching, pondering, praying. Okay? So the leader's guiding. So, so, all right, so now, so now, okay, so let's say this group here is in a uh, cell group. Okay? They've just talked about uh, what what was going on? They've got everything done, and so let's say Jason and Tamara are, are the leaders. So how do we close this? Does anyone need prayer? 
That's good, but how are we going to end in a prayer? Watch this. So, <clears throat> Jason and Tamara are hosting and leading. They have Brian and Zach there. And Ro. Oh, what if we get Ro? No. Hi, Ro. <clears throat> so, amen? Amen. All right. So, um, Zach, Brian, you guys need special prayer tonight for anything? Is there anything that we can pray for you specifically tonight? Something that's going on? Okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to pray for that. We're going to pray for that right here, right now. Okay? Pray. Mommy. After done praying, is it okay if I give Pastor Dan a text and tell him what we prayed for you about? Yeah, that would be great. Now we have upward level communication and prayer. Now, if they say no, I say okay. But we're going to continue to pray. So again, so now what we have, what have we done? All right, we've not only prayed, but again, we have built relationship and we built fellowship. The other thing is. Okay, so let's say we have Cody in the mix over here. Cody, how are you doing spiritually, man? Well, I'm fine. Okay, well, that's a good answer, but, you know, how are you really doing? Mm -hmm. So now we're leading into evangelism. Is Cody saved? My, my neighbor that's here, they say they're saved. I don't ever see him going to church, but they say they're saved. So how, how are you doing spiritually? What's your relationship with God like? Okay. It leads us an opportunity to at our home church, outside of the church, to lead people to Christ and lead people into restoration. Can I bring a personal testimony? Yeah, absolutely, brother. Bring it. We've been going through the, the same Bible study for several years on a Monday night. And then some, some other ad additional moments. This one man named Rusty, who's from Paola, he started coming. He's outwardly from the normal group, which, you know, some come in. Lot, lot, we want more to come in. So he was coming. He was coming every Monday. And he's on fire. And everything's, you know, good. And we're talking from everything from tongue speaking to gifts of the spirit to the Old Testament things. And he was new to all this. He came for weeks and weeks and weeks to find out he's never ever been saved. He never knew what salvation he was. That no one had ever discipled to him on that level. And when he finally that came out, they instantly took care of that. But the whole time he's nodding his head. He's in agreement. He was never even, he didn't even know what that was. So it's very important to lock that one down as far as yes. first thing, yeah. truthfully, because he's not really going to understand the Bible as much what you're saying until his eyes, visual eyes and ears are opened up. And it was just amazing. And ever since then, he's been even more on fire. I mean, he's, Amen. he's running like a biker, a uh, Christian biker thing over the table. He goes out and ministers people. He's going into prisons. So but to start off, we just can't skip that first step. Yeah. That's right. And obviously, as a leader, we don't ever assume, hello, somebody. Okay? How did he know? How did he know what? About the Bible study. From somebody just invited him. Yep. It's, word a, of mouth. It, it's word of mouth. It's just an invitation. You know, he knew somebody that knew somebody said, hey, I got this good Bible study. Come over to it. It's a good Bible study. There's a lot of you know, deep things going on, but things. You know. So that's the thing, to get the word out to people that don't go to this church. Yep. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Exactly. What you're doing, it was quite because again, <coughs> let, let, let me just let me let me let me tell you this, and this is not uh, this is not exaggeration. So if I were to take every single one of you, and, and next Saturday, next Saturday would be uh, 80 degrees, perfect weather. 
And I would take every single one of you and de deploy you with a, a, a uh, clipboard, thank you, clipboard, with one question on it. Have you ever heard of Community Revival Center Church? And that's it. That's the only question you're going to ask. Hi, we're just asking one question. Have you ever heard of Community Revival Center Church? I bet you 80, 90% of the people would say, what? Where's that? No, but you, they'll tell you it's Ogilvy Church. That's what they'll tell you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the one off the highway? Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. People that drive by don't yeah. know this church. Okay. So, and, and here's the other point of that. Okay. Like it or not, church has a stigma. Okay. Hey, why don't you come to church? Eh, I don't want to get up on Sunday morning, but I'm already awake on Wednesday night, most likely, and I'm not going to church, but I'm going to a house, and I can discuss things in a house. Huh? They're not asking for money. Yeah. Yeah, and they're going to give me a snack. And then... You have snacks. <laughs> so Free snacks. <laughs> Dude, you can't pass that up. Okay. Let me say one thing of encouragement to... Uh, let me say one thing of encouragement to the leaders. Okay. If you're thinking about leading, number one, you don't have to have a doctorate. You don't have to have a degree. You don't have to know all the answers. You don't. And if you get asked a question that you don't know, you don't have to answer it. Say, you know what? We're going to look into that. We're going to come back to that. Roxy? Diana had a good point. She wanted to know if the Saturday morning and Tuesday, the other Bible studies were moving to that. This no. is the Wednesday night, right? No. Okay. So let's, let's talk a little bit about Tuesday, Saturday. Tuesday, Saturday actually was spawned outside of this church. And then move to this church. There, it is part of this church, but it's not part of the Wednesday night Bible study. Okay, so Bruce is going to continue to do Tuesday morning Bible study here, unless he wants to go somewhere else. It's up to him. But we're always open, and then Saturday morning. Okay, so those are still going to go. Those are not going to be affected. So is he teaching the Saturday morning class also? Pardon me. Bruce also doing the Saturday morning. Yes, we're, do, we're doing Tuesday morning, know, 8 a.m. teaching both of them. Yes. yes. Okay. And then he's also teaching, I don't know how many others at his house. There's three. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Questions, comments, concerns about being a leader, a group leader. Okay, so I'll, I'll let you off with a cute, well, a, a funny story. Brother Jackie, Mr. Knowledgeable, very um, prim and proper, very detail-oriented. We had Sunday school. And I don't remember what he was teaching, but it was something that was very deep. A guy by the name of George Holder. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Raised his hand. And you could see the look on Brother Jack's face. Dear God, no. <laughs> and his question, George's question was for so I'm getting you group leaders ready. Do test tube babies have souls? <laughs> 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 oh, That's George. <laughs> because at that because at that time it was it was they had yeah. just come out with this uh, ingenuity uh, yeah. to be able to do that, and so the question was, uh, do test tube babies yeah. have souls? <laughs> what was his answer? Yeah. Uh, good question. <laughs> And you can see the the hair, the what was left of Brother Jack's hair, just light, just whoosh. 
say that. I'm not going to start it the 31st, which is a Wednesday. Okay? We're not going to throw you out there. We will begin rapid training of getting everybody ready. I think, in my opinion, I think this is priority right now to do this. To do this. Okay? So, uh, let me let me let me say this in conjunction with that. So celebrate recovery has went and fed the homeless how many times? It three in Lawrence. Three in Lawrence. Okay, three in Lawrence. This church took the church outside of the church to be the church. To be the church. Thank you, Daryl. And then they went to the homeless shelter here. Took this church outside of the church. Yeah. Guys, again, we keep, how do we get the church, how do we get out into the community? Get out. It's right here. It's right here. This is a perfect start. It's not the only, but it's a perfect starting point. For you to take this to your house and to your home and to invite your friends, your neighbors, your family, and let us begin expanding the kingdom of God. Okay, Roxy and then Daryl. It's Wednesday night. Then are we having any Bible studies at all, or are we just going to not do it until we get this started? Uh, we, will, we will probably... Ready for this? Yeah. We'll probably have Wednesday night Bible studies to train how to have Wednesday night Bible studies. <laughs> How's that? Don't know for sure yet. Okay. okay? So and you... and listen, hold, hold on, hold on. And if you don't want to host, and if you don't want to group lead, you need to come anyway to learn how to group lead and host, just in case an emergency happens. Can I get an amen? amen. All the way in the back. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Daryl, then Diana. For those uh, old timers, watch it. This, this is how Community Revival Center Church was built. Because we went to Wellsville, Twinamo, yes. went to uh, Pomona, mm -hmm. we went to Williamsburg, we went to Garnett. Mm -hmm. now we did. This is how this was done. Yeah. And we're just going full circle. You're going yeah. there for 12, 1 o'clock in the mornings. Yeah. Uh, I'm just kidding. Amen. Okay, Diana. I was just wondering, how are the people picked? Are the host people 
going to say, okay, uh, the house or whatever, let's say, okay, in this house there's going to be X, Y, and Z, and over here is one, two, three in this house? Or is it going to be up to the group home to decide? It will be up to, I, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to assign people to houses, okay? But we will have some type of, it, but at the same time, we will have some type of coordination. So let me give you an example. Let's say you and Judy are both hosting and 30 people show up at your house and none show up at Judy's house. We have a problem. Okay, we, we, so there will be not, quote, strict assigning, but we will have some coordination to say, hey, how many of you, we want you to go here, okay. go there. And this is the seating, how many can you seat? Yeah, right. right. What's your capacity, okay? Christian. Hey, we went to one of those home Bible studies before and we didn't get home till one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> So I just want to let you know it can get serious out there. <laughs> and, 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 I, and I know it's the one he was talking about, and I'm going to get up and go to work next morning. And, and, if, and, if, and, if, and, if, and if it's at my house, and it's 1 a.m., I'm going to tell you, lock the door on your way out. Because <laughs> I'm going to bed! <laughs> We lost track of time. Exactly. Lost well, track, and, 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 that can have, and, and you know, we'll have a we'll have a set start time, but we're not going to have a specific end time, okay? Because you may go into a little bit of overtime. time. Yeah. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. Spirit will lead. Amen. 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 Any other questions, comments, concerns? Bye bye. There so like, once it warms up, is there a possibility like instead of going to houses, do like to the park or something? Yeah. Uh, if, it, if you're the host family, so we choose where we do going. it. Yeah. Absolutely, and wait and, and put it right out in the middle of the street where where the cars have to stop. And park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 park on the corner in the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, speaker thing. thing. Okay. Spring and summer, we've got grills. Yes. We've got. Uh, fire pit, and we've got a playground. Yes. Mm -hmm. Weight limit on that playground? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Let's pray. Thank, uh, let me tell you this. Thank you for coming. And I've had people say, I can't make it tonight. Uh, again, I'm going to take this and put it out on CRC family for everybody to see. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, you see. Uh, every single person in here, I believe their desire is to get this church going and growing. And I believe every person in this uh, house and those that are going to be watching this online, God, I think their, their uh, desire and mission and vision is to get the church, this church, outside of this church into the community. So, God, we pray that you would give us your wisdom and guidance. And, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, help us to understand we're not going to have, uh, even at, at the very end of this, we're not going to have every question answered. We're not going to have every concern uh, taken care of. God, we're just going to get in and go, and we're going to adjust and make adjustments on the, uh, on the way there, and we're going to do our very best to do our very best. But God, our goal, our mission, our vision is to get souls ready for the coming of our Lord and Savior. Yeah. Father, we thank you for it. So minister to people's hearts and minds and give them what you would want them to do, how, them, how they would be involved in this. And we give you the praise and glory for it in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen. All right, thanks for coming tonight. And we'll go from here.